We're going to a Chinese market. Yeah, hi. Hello and welcome to Capricious Conversations. As you can see, this is another Capricious Conversations on location. We are headed to a Chinese market with my brother-in-law Kevin and my sister Nia, who you can't see, she's off right. Um, we are headed to a Chinese market because we are going to experience the market and then in a separate episode we are going to be tasting some of the food that we get at the market. So today is all going to be about documenting the adventure of going to a different market. This one is going to be super fun which I'm really excited about because this is a huge market and they have tons of Chinese stuff there like um, imported. I can't read half the stuff which is awesome. That's why I'm bringing Kevin. All right, here we are at H Mart. You can see the sign up there. We are currently working on getting permission to film inside, so stay tuned. Okay, so here we are inside H Mart. H Mart is actually super cool. Address in the description. You want to come here because it's an, it's not just Chinese food. It's actually a total international market, specializing in Asian food. But they have you know a lot of Korean, a lot of Indian. So today we're gonna go and we're gonna find us some Chinese stuff. So. Let's go check it out. This, this right here will bless your life. It's amazing. It's delicious. The lemon tea. Lemon tea. Oh, it's so good. Yeah. It's from a company. It's like juice box. Yep. Yeah. From a company from Hong Kong. It's called Wai Ta Lai. So it's pretty good. And that's where you're from, right, Kevin? Yes. You're from Hong Kong? Yes, yeah, straight from Hong Kong. Oh. So yep. did you have this when you were like a little kid? Yeah, that's definitely. Awesome. Mom gives it All to us the time. every time we visit New York. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Alright, so what we are looking at here are fish balls, which are kind of just fish meatballs. Um, and then over here we've got some fish ball mix. So this is like different types of fish and it has like seasoning and stuff in it. Yeah, seasoning in it. And this is like the, 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 the imitation crab. It looks like a, look, they make it look like a crab. Oh, so it's like shaped yeah, and it shaped like, like a crab. Yeah. And more fish balls. Yeah, this is crab nuggets. And crab nuggets. Yeah. <laughs> and the fish balls, should we get some of the crab nuggets? Crab. Crab. So crab. I know, it's a fish crab. Get some crab claws. Crab claws. Which, just saying, crab claws are delicious. And you should all try them. Even if these <laughs> ones, Even are if these ones are not. Mom's <laughs> 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 stuff. This is the vegetable? Yes. Yep. This is mostly for soups. Oh, yeah. Um, mostly for soups. And this yep. is all the rice. Obviously, rice is such a huge staple to everything that is made. So, the rice, um, they have a huge section for it, but it's all different types of rice. So you got, you know, your basmati, your sticky rice, your, um, you know, long grain, short grain, brown rice, jasmine. black rice, jasmine. So many different types of rice, and it's awesome. So we're kind of noticing there's like a whole bunch of stuff, right, mm -hmm. Kevin? That's kind yeah. of from multiple cultures. So yes. even though it has like Korean writing on the box, it still can be a pretty traditional Chinese food and a pretty traditional Korean food because they're all kind of borrowing from each other's cultures and cuisines and things and they share a lot of things in common. Um, so you might see some things on here that have Korean writing, you might see some things that have Japanese writing, but Kevin has promised me that they are all traditional Chinese kind of Yep. Foodie things. And they all share the same, same type, the mm -hmm. taste and stuff like that. Yep. Yep. Uh, fermenting stuff. Giant fish? Yep. So we are checking out some of these. What are these called? Mochi? Mochi. Mochi. Rice cake. Mochi. Mochi. So they're like rice um, shells stuffed with fillings like red bean, and some of the shells can be. Um, different types of flavors, so we're just kind of trying to decide which ones to get. Which ones did you say, Kevin? So these I ones. think the, the red bean is okay. most traditional. Let's get the red bean ones. We're getting red and green and red bean cake. Yep. Yep. Yummy! So all of this is fresh fish yep. on actually, ice. Frozen, actually. Frozen, yeah. This is, this is Colorado. Baby. Recently, yeah, we're in Colorado, so fresh fish is not, you know. That is a really big carp right there. 
Fishes seems to be like one of the most important meats though, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, it's uh, mostly seafood, but mostly the big part of Asian diet. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Especially like right on the coast, I would imagine that would be like the key food, right? Yes, of course, kind definitely. Of, is it uh, less so? So when you get inland, then it's going to be like the more goat and things yeah, like that? Yeah, more goat, more meat and stuff like that. Yeah, definitely. Okay, check out these guys. They're preserved duck eggs. They're called 100-year-old eggs. I don't know if they're actually 100 years old, but they look a little intense. Although I sort of feel like because we're super adventurous that we have to try them. This is called bitter melon and that is one of the funkiest looking fruits I've ever seen. We're actually going to get some. It's not a fruit. It's, oh, it's, it's not a fruit. It's Check that out, guys. Look how funky that looks. Kind of looks like broccoli but in cucumber form. Apparently the one that I had last time was Indian. This is, this is Chinese though? Yeah. This is the Chinese bitter melon. It's a little bit bigger. Looks a little bit more like a cucumber. Yeah. But the taste will be different. Check this out guys. We're gonna get this durian. Now, the reason that it's frozen, correct me if I'm wrong, the reason that it's frozen yep. is because these are pretty whiffy. Yeah, and also, also because this is mostly shipped from, from an Asian country. Right. But mostly from, Tha uh, yeah, from Thailand. So, but it's so a have, Chinese thing that yeah, you Yeah, they Chinese does eat those durians mm -hmm. all the time. My mom loves it too, so definitely. But you don't like it, right? No, definitely <laughs> not. This is gonna be fun. So we just wanted to say thank you so much to H Mart for letting us film here. We got a ton of really awesome stuff and we're gonna cook it all up in the next episode. So tune back in on Wednesday. We're gonna cook everything up and see how it tastes. But if you are looking for some Asian food, doesn't matter what kind of Asian food you're looking for, H Mart is gonna have it. So you guys need to come here. Address and description, um, I'm sorry, address in the description. You guys need to check this out if you're in Denver. This is a super great place to get a whole bunch of really fun and unique Asian things that you're not gonna find in your average supermarket. So check it out.